I know, I know, I know. You saw the title and you guys are probably like, what are you talking about? Um, but it's a very valid conversation that I wanted to have today. And um, for those that are that want to listen, um, I couldn't help but notice as, you know, I, um, I work on a military base and da da da. And of course, since I was a little kid, um, America has been very proud, very proud of the flag here and anything America related. We're just like, USA, USA. And like the whole rest of the world is super, like, you know, supportive of America's patriotism. But what I also notice is like other countries, China's very patriotic to their uh, country, um, India is super patriotic, Japan is still very patriotic. Um, it's just, you know, every country is very proud to, you know, represent their country. And um, I understand, like, uh, and I, I know that the title is a little bit more on the edgy side, but um, the reason why I, I phrased it that way is because I find it interesting that, um, you know, uh, people are like, oh, yeah, like, you should come visit here. You should come, like, you know, this is a great place to be, da da da. And then, like, there's like almost little to no like, you know, I guess self appreciation of Germany. Like just like hey, like Germany is a great country. Like saying that as a German, um, you know, rubs people the wrong way. And obviously, like you know, I I have a general idea as to why. You know, obviously the events that happen uh, from World War Two played a huge, huge, huge. It's like the biggest impact ever, right? But I mean. We're so far from that now. We're so far from that. And I feel like there's a, a really healthy balance of of uh, showing appreciation for where you're from. You know, like, hey, cool, boom. Because then I thought about it. Because, I mean, a lot of people might be like, okay, well, that's not a valid argument because, bro, like, you know why. So why talk about it? Well, bro, sporting events. You go to a sporting event in Germany, like, psh, you go know that Germany's at that sporting event, bro. Like, if you're playing against anybody, Germany will show up and show out. Like, that is like I think all the patriotism that they can't show in public comes out at 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 soccer games. I say soccer. I know everybody's heart just dropped a little bit. Football games, okay? Foosball games. Like everybody, like everybody's patriotism is like like to the to the tenth power at a soccer game because you know it's cool. Like you get to see the chants. You get people are wearing German colors and stuff like that. It's super dope. Or like or, or the colors of the team that they're representing. But they make it clear like we're from here and we're proud. And that's super cool because that's the only time I get to see like people from Germany be really proud about where they're from and really represent where they're from. You know. And um, I know like it's just I don't, I want to understand why. You know. I under, I want to understand why. Like why do Germans not? It almost seems like they don't like their country you know um like they love what's inside the country but they don't like the country itself you know and i feel like um one of the last things you know and just restructuring the image of germany and stuff like that uh is just you know making it okay again to to be be proud of your country you know like obviously like you know being proud doesn't mean like you know shaming other people that aren't as proud to be to be german or something like that right like it's just sh saying hey i I'm, I'm from here this is where i'm from i love it you know it's awesome like you know germany is an amazing place like just like we do in america like we're very we're almost too proud in a way you know what I'm saying? but um you know it, it's 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 comforting you know people go to that country to really experience that country and 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 and, and see everything that there is to offer and I think what helps with that is just the people of that country really appreciating the country it itself. There's always skeletons in every country's closet. Every country has its really, really dirty secrets and stuff and horrible events that have taken place in each country. But despite all that, most countries still uh, are very, to some degree, patriotic. But And I don't want people to think that I'm like pushing for like an extreme like that. Da, I, I just want to know. I just want to know, like, will it ever be okay to be... Um, you know, to, to just like dangle a German flag outside your window if you're if you are a native German and be like, hey, boom, Germany, you know, pride out here, German pride, woo, you know, like just have a good, I don't know, like America does it all the time. You see on everybody's lawn, there's like a, an American flag, and I'm just like, Ugh. I mean, I get it, but you know, and, and it's the same thing. I feel like like are there will there ever be a time where it'll be okay? Because I know like right now it's 
probably not okay to do something like that. Um, but will, it, will there ever be a time where it'll be okay to to just show some appreciation? Because I know that there's a lot of people outside of just myself that want to visit Germany. And I know like a lot of times people just want to fit in. So they'll go to Germany wearing German colors. They'll be like, okay, black, red, yellow. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to have the German drip. And then people in Germany might be like, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Can you can you pick a different color combination, please? Cause, but like you know, and then on the flip side, you have people from America going to every country wearing like you know blue, red, white with stars all over it and stuff like that. Everywhere they go, they we have like a, an American, uh, like you got a U.S. Uh, design jacket and stuff like that, U.S. flag jacket, pants, hats, uh, glasses and stuff like that. I just, I don't know. I just thought it was very interesting. Um, to talk about, you know? Um, I understand, like I said, there there were pretty intense events that happened and, you know, a lot of people feel uncomfortable or felt uncomfortable for such a long time, but I feel like there's been enough time that's passed that, you know, it's okay to, you know, recreate the image of what that patriotism looks like. You know, it doesn't have to be what it was. It could be something totally different, entirely different, way more positive. Obviously, the entire image of Germany completely changed. I'm pretty sure you could change what the patriotism looks like, where it's more like, it's way, it's like positive. It's very positive, you know? And I just think that's very interesting, you know? And and I'm not saying like, I mean, if you don't want to do stuff like that, then don't do it. I'm just, I'm just asking questions, just asking questions. It was something that crossed my mind because I'm like, dang, like I see it here all the time. It's just, there's like a very strong contrast. Like I, I, the one thing that, people coming to America will notice is that we are super proud to be Americans. Like we will brag about it to the day we die. But I don't I feel like with Germany, it's not like people aren't proud to be German, but I feel like it's more like people are afraid to say that they're proud to be German. And I think that's unfortunate. I feel like you should be proud, you know? But like, hey, cool, like I'm German. Awesome. I'm like cool i'm american awesome you know this is awesome and then you can like meet a bunch of different cultures and you know teach each other things you know and i feel like teaching comes from a place of appreci appreciation too like you you're able to teach people more when you appreciate your own culture more like if someone was very excited about america and they wanted to know everything there is to know about america the best way i could teach it is just appreciating my own culture i'm like oh yeah like America's done some messed up stuff, some very messed up stuff, still doing some messed up stuff, you know, but I'm still proud to, you know, be American, I guess. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And so I was just really curious, you know, and I know I, I had to get you guys' attention with that title and stuff like that. I, I, and I'm well aware people appreciate Germany, like people from Germany appreciate the, the landscape, they appreciate the food, they appreciate the culture, obviously. It's just, there's not really a way that is publicly acceptable to display um, your patriotism or love for that country if you are German yourself, besides from what I've seen, which are soccer games and YouTube comment sections. Because, <laughs> I mean, I see patriotism all the time in like the YouTube comment sections, like, Who's from Germany? Let me know. Like this comment. Da, da 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 And I'm like, oh, okay, hell yeah. Like, why don't you keep the same energy in public? Like, you know, that would be cool. That would be super cool. Like, I don't know. Because I feel like here, um, another interesting thing that I noticed is like, let's say you have like, let's say one of my old friends. One of my old friends is, uh, he's from Germany. He, he lived in America for quite a while. And um, one of my other friends um, had an, ex uh, an exchange student that was living with him that was also from Germany. And so when they see each other and stuff like that and they start talking, they're like, wow, oh my God, like you're from Germany too, what part, da da da. And then like, you know, them together, they're like, wow, like it's like there's like this stronger appreciation for where they came from. And then of course they wanna teach, you know, us about like Germany. Like, hey, like, well back in Germany, da 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 this, da da da. Like this is how you maneuver, this is how like uh, this is how we do things over there. This is how our stuff is structured. This is how, you know, it's different from American stuff. America does this better, Germany does this better, blah blah blah. It's just it's super cool to see that, you know, but I feel like it's just very unfortunate to to have to suppress that. Um 
And I'm like I said, I'm also not advocating for any extremism and stuff, you know, like people doing stuff to the utmost extreme, like extremes are bad in any sense, but just the simple appreciation um, in the same way that Americans can appreciate their country and other countries can appreciate their country, Germany just can't, you know? And I think that's very unfortunate, very unfortunate. Um, because it seems like every country I've like, you know, reacted to or learned about is super patriotic about their country. Like you go to India, the first thing you gonna see is that flag. You'll be like, duh, da da, like just all like Germany. Like it's like you 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 look at a bunch of images in Germany and you rarely see German flags. Like at least from what I've seen, I, I rarely see German flags like that. I mean, you go outside anywhere in America and you will. If you blink three times, you'll see an American flag. And then if you ask around about America, people will be like, yes, yes. Now, the younger generation kind of feels a bit differently. But, you know, it's just it's, it's just very interesting. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. With uh, just if you really appreciate where you're from, I don't see any problem with like representing where you're from. Um, no matter how bad the, the old history is, because it's not what currently like if I'll put it this way. Hear me out. If you were to base the appreciation of Germany on just the last 20 years, like 15, 20 years, I don't think it would be as big of an issue to, you know, be patriotic. But I feel like obviously there's way more to it than than that, of course, which is kind of it impacts, you know, how we treat our own patriotism here in the U.S. with events in, in U.S. history. Like, I feel like the slavery thing, for instance, in the U.S., like we're over here talking about liberty and justice for all. We had this whole 400 years of slavery stuff that happened here in the U.S. And I don't know, we're still proud. We had a whole separatist movement here in the U.S. And then people are we're still proud to be American. It's just I feel like you take the good with the bad and you realize that, you know, you will always get better. You will always get better. Like you'll never be your lowest point forever there will be low points but i feel like you can still um there is still hope to be a great place a great society and be proud of that like i feel like if anybody deserves to you know appreciate where they came from it, it's definitely germany like the whole image of germany completely switched 180 degrees like it was in one direction at a certain point and now it's completely in the polar opposite polar opposite and I know I, I I just want to hear what you guys have to say about it in the comment section. Obviously, like I don't live there and stuff, and um, I don't have like the best understanding of everything because, like I said, I do see parts where people are very patriotic. I feel like, and then other parts, like I guess, uh, well, generally just in public, I guess in Germany, from what I've heard, uh, people can't be patriotic because it's like, it's looked at as very bad and it's a, it might be a cultural thing. Um, and people are more culturally aware, uh, there of just, you know, things that happen and, and whatnot. And I can see that, I guess, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Didn't want to take up too much of your time, but I just thought it was really weird, like really weird. Um, but that's pretty much it. Take care. Peace. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter. We're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever okay it's simple just go ahead and do those little things we're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything and it really means a lot now i know you guys stumbled up across the channel and you're like what does this guy post like what kind of content does he post reactions vlogs pretty much whatever comes to my mind all right it's random content 
I don't know what I'm gonna be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey and it really means a lot. Now, for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made and the, all the links will be in the description down below, that's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing and I will see you in the next video. Take care, peace.